Hello guys and welcome back. Now let us utilize the for loop in order to activate all of these sensors. Now the for loop will come really in handy in these type of problems. So since we are checking the same condition for all the objects, right? For Since we are checking the same uh, conditions for all of our four motors here, well, we can really reduce this code a lot. I'm gonna add a for loop which will iterate through all the motors. I'll say for i equals one, two, five, by one, do. Let's define the i as an integer. What we're going to do is if buttons i equals a true and analog sensors i is larger than let's say six then analog sensor not yeah let's add s here it makes more sense then what i'm going to do is coils i equals a true what did we do here exactly this for loop actually here to four okay this for loop is going to sweep values between one and four by one step it means it will count one two three four if i have here two steps it means it will count one three five seven so this is just this step and i will be sweeping the i between one and four now in every iteration there is a number first iteration is one so for i equals one so here it will be button one analog sensor one evaluate for coil one so when we evaluate at one and we're done we're going to jump and increment, it will be two. So here we're evaluating and checking button two and sensor two and activating coil two. Then it will increment, it's a three. Now we are evaluating button three, sensor three, and we are activating coil three. Up until we reach four. Let us also say else, coils i equals false, okay? So this is the best way to do this. So let us simulate now. Login, login with download, okay. Start, let us activate all the buttons and see who will turn on. Coils, as we can see now, coil one and four are activated because you know I have set the analog sensor to be eight at one and four. And since for two and three, the analog is less than six, then they won't be activated. So I activated all the buttons and the corresponding one and four motors got activated. As you can see here, just with a simple couple lines of codes, we can activate 100 motor if their activation condition is the same. So this is it for this lecture, guys. See you in the next tutorial.